A few nights ago, I was talking with my friend from Nevada. And she made a statement that struck me to my core. She said, brother, God misses our walks with him in the cool of the day. She said, when Adam and Eve fell, they hid themselves in a bush. And it seems like mankind to this day keeps hiding. Like, like whatever we've done is going to catch God off guard. And as I thought about that throughout the night, I, I sat there and I was thinking, God, why is it that we think we can't come to you? Your word says in Hebrews chapter 4 that we can come boldly before the throne of grace and find help in time of need. When Adam and Eve fell, they, they hid themselves in a bush, but God made an out. In Exodus chapter 3, the Bible says that God sent a fire to a bush. And Moses turned aside to see what this was. And God revealed himself to Moses because God wants intimacy with mankind. And the Bible said that Moses hid his face. So God sent Moses the law and he sent Moses the tent of meetings because God wanted to come down and speak to Moses face to face as a friend in Exodus chapter 33. But mankind hid the law. And so God, what he did in his infinite wisdom, he sent a king, eight years old, Josiah by name in 2 Kings chapter 22, who found the law. And when he found the law, the Bible says he read it and he made a decree that they would obey it and revival, the first recorded revival in history followed the finding of the law. God just wants us to quit hiding. Gideon hid, God sent an angel. Elijah hid in a cave, so God sent a still small voice in 1 Kings chapter 18. God just longs to walk with us once again in the cool of the day. But we just keep hiding. From hiding in the bush, God sent a fire. From hiding in your face, God sent a tent to meetings. From hiding in the law, God sent a king. God just wants us to have intimacy with him. God just wants us to walk with him once again in the cool of the day. So finally, God comes up with a final plan. He sends his son. And for the tree in the Garden of Eden, he puts his son on the tree. And for the fire at the, the, the burning bush, God sends us the Holy Spirit. For the law, Jesus fulfilled the law and he gave us grace. And for the still small voice, God gave us a voice crying in the wilderness. God just wants to reconcile us back to him. So he sent his son where the first Adam failed. The Bible says in Corinthians, the second Adam would succeed. And he would take the hand of mankind and he would take the hand of God and he'd reconcile us back together because God just wants to walk with us in the cool of the day. Why do we continue to hide from God when all he wants is for us to return to our first love? Like Revelation says, come back to him, to fall in love with him again. Listen, for those of you who are listening, quit hiding. God knows exactly what you're going through. He knows exactly where you are. And, and he sent his son not in vain, but to forgive you for the very things that you're struggling with. He wants the sons and daughters to quit hiding, but to come home. There is no sin that catches them off guard. God is saying, come home. Come home and walk with him in the cool of the day. God said in the book of Jeremiah to return to our ancient past. To find the ancient past. To find those past that once caused us to fall in love with a good God. A mighty God. Why are we hiding? No more hiding. The Bible says in Matthew, let your light so shine before men that they would see your good works and glorify the Father that is in heaven. Don't hide that light because you may be the only Jesus that they will ever see. God made a way through His Son, Jesus Christ, to walk once again with Him in the cool of the day. Come home. Come out of hiding. 
Jesus is saying, 